We have a vision for tomorrow. Just believe. Just believe. We. Hi, I'm the MP who likes to sing. Ask me anything. I'm Xie Yao Quan. I'm 36 years and 4 days old. And I'm the MP for Jurong GRC. Dynamite. Oh my goodness. Boy with love. Oh, you're really testing me. <laughs> uh, make it right. I do. <laughs> Uh, no more dream. I got it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so when I'm at home, is uh, because I'm an espresso machine, it's usually just two shots of espresso, black, no sugar, no milk. Um, but when I'm at the coffee shop, uh, it's always kopi si gao siu tai. My childhood dream is uh, was actually to be a cardiologist. So I'm not sure why, but um, I think there was just something um, attractive about caring for someone's heart. Netflix, I actually deactivated my account. <laughs> so unfortunately not much time to uh, catch up on YouTube and Netflix. There is actually something on my uh, to-do list which is to catch up on uh, it's okay to not be okay. Um, I think that would be the Bato Mi at Crawford, uh, the one-star hawker stall. Uh, although I would need to have a bit more time if that's my last meal because um, the wait can be very long. I can't quite remember but I'm definitely an I. Um, I think I am N, T and J. <laughs> uh, she wishes I would look at her like that. <laughs> Well, actually, to be honest, um, th th this was a... Uh, I, I don't know, I, I guess it was just the way this photo was captured. <laughs> uh. So SM Taman has been a great mentor. He's definitely not chill in terms of the standards that he expects uh, in, in the GRC from the team. Uh, we like to say in Jurong that um, uh, we never walk away from a problem uh, and every problem uh, is a big problem for residents. Uh, and so we treat every problem seriously. Um, and, and that's our ethos, that's our culture uh, within the Jurong teams. Uh, we have very high standards of ourselves uh, and SM obviously sets the tone um, and we try our best to measure up to those standards. Uh, but he has been a great mentor and uh, he's been very patient, very willing to teach and to guide. I'm not sure if this is an extraordinary thing, but uh, I guess an extraordinary story is something that happened recently. So there's this young couple, uh, my residents, who came to me. The lady uh, had, had an un unexpected condition uh, befall upon her that basically scuppered the entire housing plans. And so uh, they, they wanted my help to appeal to HDB to undo the current housing plan and to make alternative arrangements. Um, so long story short, we managed to eventually get it done. The husband actually came back to me to say, can I volunteer with you and help out? Because I would like to have the opportunity to now give help to others. Um, and I, I, I thought that that just made my day. And um, to me, that was an ordinary person saying and doing something truly extraordinary. I, I, I think healthcare is really made up of two words, right? Health and care. I think uh, we have done a lot in terms of um, establishing a basic level of healthcare. I think that's a health aspect of it. How do we then move from that basic level of healthcare to truly care for a person's emotional, um, social, psychological needs and how do we maintain the person's dignity um, when the person is, is sick or infirm and at his or her most vulnerable. 
Um, so it's really putting ourselves as the care provider in the person's shoes, the person that we're caring for, and truly empathizing with the person um, and um, preserving his or her dignity. I thought it was important to, to see through all 25 days and to take part in the challenge to play my part. Um, I like to say that this is not the only way to raise um, awareness on mental health issues, but it is one way. Um, and I think the larger point is that we do need to do a lot more in terms of raising awareness. I'm Yao Quan, I'm your MP, and uh, I really look forward to uh, this next few years uh, where I have a chance to serve you. Um, let's work together to create um, an even better home and uh, an even stronger community in Jurong Central.